This is gonna be mine and Jack's bedroom. <laughs> Isolated the biggest master bedroom cave that we could find. It was really cozy. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah, we actually need to see our Final Fours band play that mm -hmm. time. Oh, rolling. Oh, okay. So you guys have a set now. It's pretty yes. cool. <laughs> it's a beautiful set. It's an amazing set. It is but amazing. I yeah. have to say that I'm going to miss filming outside. Yeah. I love filming outside. There's nothing in me that wants to be indoors for the rest of the shoot. But right. luckily, I actually hold... I will be doing a lot of outdoor scenes still because okay. I don't know how much I'm allowed to give away about what happens. But let's just say that I'm indifferent to the caves at this point. So you're going on a track or some sort of action adventure for Kate. Like that. I'm guessing. Yeah, yeah very cool. Like that. Um, so what can you tell us about this episode that we're doing now? The Rising Sun episode? Yes. Um, that, that was what I was trying not to tell you the last <laughs> question. <laughs> you can be vague, but no, just I know, give us something. I know, the problem yeah. with the show is there's so many, so much so the reason why you want to watch the next episode is right. to find out about the next episode. Right. But, um, I think the most interesting dynamic of it that um, people have unfortunately been kind of, I guess, alluding to or predicting is there becomes a definite element of um, the sort of clan survival mentality starts to happen. Mm, right. You know what I mean? Where uh, clearly they're going to have people who have differences and people who have thought about different things and you do start to see a definite crevice between like people thinking one way and people thinking another way and that becomes a huge geographical dynamic and it becomes a huge emotional relational dynamic that mm -hmm. wasn't there before so right. yeah right that's very big I don't give <laughs> nothing <laughs> that's good so. <laughs> and we've seen from the set that um, you found some friends mm -hmm. there's some nice lovely skeletons yes. in there yes we found some some corpses right. which have decayed for, you know, they're, we're guessing 50 or 60 years, so right. that's kind of crazy. I mean, that probably that doesn't give anybody very so much things. hope as far as no. if you're going to get off the island. <laughs> no, and I think that might be part of what sort of puts some people over the edge as far as, like, ways of thinking and just, like, are we going to ever get off this island? Are right. we never going to get off this island? Are we going to be these skeletons 50 or 60 years from now, or right. what's going to happen? So, right. yeah, and it's great. It's great how they're found, too, because it's a scary scene, but it's not... It's not over the top. It's not silly. It's it's realistic. Like, right. and we find them in. Rolling. In this. Okay, I don't remember what I was saying. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. I think we had enough on okay. that, so we're fine. Um, so, what do you think about Kate and Jack? Might there any be any sort of romantic connection Anything there? Romantic? Clearly, we've seen a spark. Is, definitely, yeah, obviously yeah. a spark, and I think that. Um, this next episode that we haven't started shooting yet that uh, we have coming up you see a lot more of that but it's funny because Kate and Jack I mean, their characters are obviously attracted to each other right. but I'm really thankful that the writers have kept in mind that we've been on this island for a week Right. One week, and we've dealt with a crash, we've dealt with people dying, we've dealt with so much insane stuff that that can't ever, ever be something that just, poof, oh, look, we're a happy couple. Right. And, and I don't know if, I mean, Kate, Kate is so guarded, and Kate is so jaded as to, you know, uh, towards men and towards trust and all those different kinds of things. And Jack, clearly, through what we've seen with him and his father, has, you know, his own issues with relationships. So, I think that there are some definite barriers that are keeping them apart, but they're obviously connected and there right. obviously is chemistry there and there's right. obviously a trust level there and a concern and a care and, you know, I think that it's a really beautiful dynamic right now that hopefully is going to just keep pending for a while. Yeah. Well, you guys have nothing but time, so no need to hurry, right? Yeah, <laughs> you're exactly. Gonna, like, you're going to be there exactly. for a while. <laughs> hopefully. So, so this is not actually your and Jack's bedroom. I suggested that because <laughs> as soon as we found out that we had caves, everyone was like, oh, Kate and Jack are going to move into a cave together, aren't they? This is the next step in their relationship. We're going to claim, like, the biggest cave for the And you're going to have bedroom. kids, not to add on to yeah, the cave. Yeah, exactly. Like, like, remodeling. Oh, this wall right here we could blow out, make into a second bedroom. For the <laughs> yeah. um, now, you guys are actually up against another Hawaii show, Hawaii. How do you feel we about are, that? We're, I, I feel yeah. like we're up with another Hawaii show, you know? You know, I think that Hawaii has um, such a different 
appeal than Lost. It's so it's a cop show, right? And ours is a dr- dramatic, um, you know, character driven show. So if somebody's looking for to watch a show like Hawaii, they're probably not looking to watch a show like Lost. And right. I think that having these shows in Hawaii has brought so much to the economy here, and it's just right. really good. And, and of what I've heard from the locals, they're thrilled to have have these television shows here. So right. hopefully both of us can be successful. I don't think right. there's not room for both. Well, Matthew's getting a little... Com- okay. Um, Matthew was actually getting really competitive and saying that he hopes that you guys kick their ass. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't, I don't fall into that camp. I'm definitely in the peacekeeper diplomat right. area. I, I honestly think that they're so different. There's just right. no way that it's going to be that we're competing against Hawaii right. for right. for airtime. And I too nice. I know she's too <laughs> sweet. <laughs> you are. There isn't. There isn't. I think that there's room for both for sure. Right. Especially because right now, I think there's a real void on TV. I right. mean, we have had so many hit shows that have ended, had their final season in the last uh, year or two that people are begging for good television programming. So it's going to, I think they can both be successful. And of what I've heard, Hawaii is fantastic. Like I heard that the premiere was really great and that they're actually putting out something that's not just the old, you know, cop show happening all over again. So, yeah. Okay, well, we will be watching. We're big fans, Thank as you, you know. So. Thank you. Thank always you for so coming. Great. I appreciate My you pleasure. coming in. Sorry, I'm all sweaty. <laughs> I'm always all sweaty on set. It's just the permanent state of affairs on this set. <laughs> If you're not sweaty enough, they like, spray you, right? I know. Yeah. With oil or grease. Yeah. Water? Sometimes. 